Oh, you can play the arcade through the menu. Hello everybody. Welcome back to A Life is Strange. Let's play through <laughs> episode four. Uh, or chapter four, I guess, is what they're calling it. Chapters by chapters and not episodes. Um, my name's Kaboshi. And I uh, just wanted to recap what we did last time, which has been almost like a week now. Maybe two weeks, I feel like. <laughs> maybe not two weeks uh, since I last played. But game is constantly on my mind lately. I've been watching a lot of playthroughs and seeing what choices people make and their commentary on each situation. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I always enjoy these games so much, and I wish there were more content out there for these type of games. Um, thank you for the like, Forex. Uh, so let's go through chapter three and take a look and recap. So, uh, very beginning of the game. Thank you for the slap as well. Hope you're having a good weekend, Forex. Um, so we started off the game with, uh, doing kind of like some investigating, right? You know, we kind of know that Diane is a little, uh, her hands in the bucket. So we, we needed to see what we could do with her. Um, and I think it was also our first step of choosing who we're going to be romancing in this video game. Uh, and I've stated that I really like both characters. Um, both Ryan and Steph are very good characters, very lovable. Um, at the end of the day, though, I chose Steph, uh, just cause I'm kind of like imprinting myself into Alex a little bit, you know, um, as a straight man, <laughs> uh, even though the, this romance would be more of a bisexual one, um, but I didn't want to uh throw away the fact of possibly romancing someone like ryan either because it really just came down to their personalities their interests their hobbies uh and how their chemistry worked with alex when in which case both characters their chemistries work really well with alex uh it's no wonder that they're best friends uh currently um but i think steph is just more she has a lot more like hobbies in my realm you know that i'm comfortable with um, she's into, you know, D&D, &D, she's LARPing lately, she's into music, and, uh, for me, I'm not really, personally, because I'm a little antisocial and, uh, I get anxious around people, I don't really do D&D &D or board games or, uh, just even LARPing, uh, all that much. Um, it kind of, the thought of it terrifies me. Uh, I've been getting into board games a little bit more just because... Uh, it's a little easier when you're surrounded by people you know, but as for like LARPing and stuff, I, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> and then I could just see like, you know, Alex is kind of a gamer, you know, it never really, she never really shows that she's a gamer, but they've placed these arcade games throughout the game, which makes me think that she's a gamer because she likes to play games. Um, so I like to play video games. And so I just think it'd be cute. Like, you know, uh, Steph is always just introducing Alex to all these, you know, fun board games and whatnot, and then I'm, like, introducing her to video games and whatnot, and then we can jam out to some music or watch movies together. I'm thinking a little bit too deep into this. <laughs> I'm starting to realize, um, you know, maybe, you know, someday we both get into anime. Uh, who knows? Uh, anyways, moving on. Um... So, as you can see, that's one of the big choices, choosing between Steph and Ryan. Uh, and look how even it is, too. Um, so the next big thing that we had to decide on was to take Charlotte's anger from her or not. Um, we learned about more of how, of how Charlotte is dealing with Gabe's death uh, last episode. She is essentially blaming every, everyone around her, um, including her son which is tearing her apart because she doesn't want to be her son is the world to her and she thinks that because she's having these feelings um 
and blaming her son for these things that she's become like a, a terrible mother a terrible human being when has she become this kind of person um and so she starts blaming everybody you know she she blames Gabe for making her love somebody again she blames me because everything started going downhill as soon as I came to town she blames uh uh Ryan for not being able to save anybody or more specifically Gabe and, and then she blames Ethan for going out to the mines that day you know it's it's uh just she's blaming everybody around her uh, she's angry and I get it, you know. I can see how some people would be like, "Ah, oh, you know, I hate Charlotte now. She's a terrible character. La 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 la. She's a terrible person." But everybody has something going on. Everybody has a lot going on that you don't know about. So I think that you want to give a lot of people the benefit of the doubt. A lot of times, you don't know what's going through on with their lives, you know. So, and it just happens that we, as Alex, have the power of empathy, um, as well as to be able to read kind of like people's minds too, essentially. Um, so it just gives us a little bit more information, which, I don't know. Uh, anyways, moving on. Um, we had a little thing with Diane, uh, where we had to try to convince her to... Uh, get her emotions going a little bit more so we can try to figure out what evidence she might be hiding um i didn't realize we could make her sad at the time um but i ended up making her angry so that made me the minority um uh i listened to sugar pie riot uh during when we were just uh investigating or just free roaming around the apartment um and then I guess I did some weeding on top of the roof, too. Uh, it just happened to be there, so I did it. Um, and then the best part, honestly, is actually doing the LARP session this episode. The whole LARP thing was fantastic. I enjoyed every little bit of it. Um, I know it's probably not 100% accurate um, because I think they kind of just wanted to make it more tailored to Ethan to cheer him up a bit. So it was more like a campaign for Ethan, right? with volunteers to act as PNC, uh, not P PNC, NPCs, uh, and it was just a lot of fun, you know, all that, the people that went out of the way to, to, to do things and put up a character, especially Ryan, he, he did, like, three monsters or whatever, and the best part was when, like, we killed one of the monsters, they would just drop loot, <laughs> like, out of their hands, it was really funny. Um, let's see, the, and here's some of the stats of when we did a few of the stuff during the LARP. Um, I was able to subdue uh, the troll with uh, magic powder. Um, which it looks like 52% killed him. I, I watched a lot of playthroughs and I'll, it, some people just speed run through this LARP session. Like it's crazy. <laughs> I'm like trying to enjoy every little bit of it, try to find every little thing. Um, and I pretty much found every little thing that could help me, right? So I like had an abundance of scrolls to use in the last boss fight. Um, while a lot of people just sped run through it. Like they didn't look at anything on the walls, all the hints, the clues. Um, it's crazy. Like I prefer my way of playing this game. It's just like really immersing myself and enjoying every little detail that I can find. Uh, granted, I did miss a lot of things, I think, still, because I checked my achievements uh, for the first three episodes. And there's a few things I definitely missed, so I'll be definitely going back and trying to find those things uh, so I can get, like, a, a platinum trophy or something. Um, but yeah, uh, we also put the serpent to sleep with the bell because we talked to uh, Ducky. He gave us the bell. Um, this part I was a little frustrated about. Um, Steph helped Alex find what Typhon was up to or Steph stormed out. Um, Steph and Ryan ended up storming out, and I thought this was due to me taking in Charlotte's anger. Um, and that kind of, I got really angry and destroyed something valuable to Steph, and I get, that made her upset and she stormed out. So I hope it doesn't tamper too much of our relationship. Um, but we'll see moving forward. Uh, and then we were able to defeat the, the main boss. Uh, Riley doesn't know about Eleanor's condition. Uh, I don't think I had the ability to tell her. 
but I think there are certain things if I didn't do, I think Riley would have found out. By watching other people's playthroughs, I found out that, you know, if you didn't, for example, in episode two, uh, tell Eleanor that Gabe had passed away, then there would be more signs of her forgetting things, and I think Riley would have caught up to that, like... You know how everybody was on the bridge with the lantern at the end, um, because because Eleanor didn't remember, she wouldn't. She left. She closed shop early, and El, and uh, Riley came to the shop, and the shop was already closed. She came to, like pick up Eleanor, but she, the shop was already closed. So I think Riley would have picked up that maybe something's going on. Um, Alex didn't play this song stuck in the student's head. I totally missed this one. My bad. I've seen other people do it, and I totally just missed. Uh, that little side quest. Um, I did solve the riddle and I got the blacksmith thing and it looks like that's about it that they want to share. But it, overall this has been one of the funnest episodes to do, episode 3. Um, so now we're at episode chapter 4. Um, this is like where things I'm sure is going to start building up uh, into the finale. So we'll see what happens. Um, I guess another thing that these decisions here didn't really recap was uh, the information we found on the USB drive. So we were able to trick Diane and uh, get... Oh, thank you for the head pack, Alice. Appreciate it. Thank you for the follow, by the way. It was nice meeting you. Hello. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh. The USB that we found from Diane. Uh, we found out that... Oh, uh, spoiler warnings, by the way, Alice, if you're ever interested in playing um, Life is Strange True Colors. I'm kind of recapping what happened last episode right now. Um, <clears throat> but it's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. I understand if you want to dip out uh, in case of spoilers. Um, let's see. We found out that Gabe was... He definitely made the call, so that there is truth behind that. And then we just found some evidence about Typhon and their schemes, and that, that they're hiding something. We don't know what they're hiding quite yet. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, it's. I've seen gameplay of it already. Tough emotional damage. Yeah, uh, these Life is Strange games definitely do that to you. Um, but it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite games uh, franchises. So I enjoyed them a lot. I played every single one so far, uh, and this is my first time going through True Colors. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all we left off uh, with the USB. Uh, they were there were two explosions. Uh, one was to mask. Another explosion where they're burying something. They're trying to hide some secret. So let's get started, shall we? Yay. I'm trying to use my PS5 controller. I wonder if it'll work. We'll find out. Bum, bum, bum. How is your Saturday, Alice? Chapter four, Flicker. Oh. All on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Okay, yes. so we're telling Pike, Talk the uh, deputy sheriff. Of Haven Springs. We are live at the Spring Festival. Totally and just didn't get out of bed. Oh. <laughs> no judgment here. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History roses. 
All right, it's the night of the festival. We've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. Hint, hint. A better way to say, hey, look, a rose. <laughs> Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I do? I mean, if there's someone you like, maybe. Maybe. I Juzo, hello, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? How is your Saturday? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Um. Yeah, I have a, a busy weekend. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to. I'm gonna set up an audition video for uh, for Niji Sanji and All Alive. This is for funsies. Don't know if, if anything will come out of it, but you know, it, it doesn't hurt to try. What, what's the worst they can do? Tell me no. Actually, they probably won't even tell me no. They probably just wouldn't even respond. But hey, you never know. Leaky faucet. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. When did I become such a fucking monster? Whoa. What was that? I can still feel some of Charlotte's anger from before? Interesting. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Gross. Good, how about you? I'm doing pretty good, Juzo. I'm gonna... I'm playing one of my favorite games now. I'm excited to continue the story. And then... Like I said, I'm going to be busy working on uh, an audition video, and then I'm going to have myself a little, like, mini Korean barbecue at home. <laughs> Not a whole lot of ingredients. It's enough for myself, but it's going to be a good weekend. I'm excited. Uh, let's, can I... Does this button work? Ah, yes. The PS5 controller works. All right. So we're going to go through what's new on social medias and my text messages, and let's go from there. Um, KR, uh, KRCT Radio. Kind Haven listeners, we are now live at the Springs Festival. Swing by our trailer in the park to grab some raffle tickets and maybe win some merch. Ooh, life is strange again. Hi, Zimius. Yes, we're on episode four. I'm excited to get back into it. Having fun. I'm excited. Uh... I don't think we're going to be doing any more LARPing this episode, but it is the Spring Festival, so there's still some festivities to go through. Uh, but yeah, I just started. Welcome in, welcome in. Hi, Diva. Welcome in. Happy Saturday. How are you guys doing? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, awesome. Sweet. Uh, and make sure to stick around and keep your eyes on the main stage. We have some something special brewing. Wink, wink. Oh shit, I feel a concert coming. Doing okay? Oh, hope everything's okay, Diva. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Uh been been with Chunkin all day and playing uh uh A ACNH on the Switch. I cleaned. Making dinner soon. Getting some Genshin first. Oh yeah, you were cleaning an attic, right? I believe that's what you said earlier. I remember. Uh, it's, what's this? Oh, huge shout out to everyone who helped out with the LARP. I think we really helped boost Ethan's spirit. Uh, and I had a great time too. Funny, I know a Jesse Whittaker IRL. Oh, real? Oh, from the game. <laughs> Jesse, I had a blast. Me too. We should definitely do it again. Splendid work, Stephanie. Is that all? Is that what that was? Still banned. <laughs> I itch now. Damn insulation. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just, must have been dusty up there. Uh, let's see. Thanks everyone for another excellent spring fest chili cook off. My mouth is still burning. Killer Chili Mike, remind me to get the recipe for the lantern you wish. <laughs> I am so full. I made chili for the first time uh, last month. It was delicious. I made it a little bit spicier than I'm used to. Like any chili that, like I've ever had anywhere. It was never really spicy. I, I made mine kind of spicy and it's delicious. Yeah, spicy, spicy, spicy. <laughs> 
It was full of stuff. I went through a lot out of it now, and I can put new stuff up there. Yay. Nice. Did you find anything you you thought you lost or forgot about up there? That's one of the fun things about cleaning up is sometimes you find some treasures that you forgot about uh, that you left up there. Uh, what's next? Haven Springs. started a while ago. Uh, the Spring Festival has begun. First up, we have our annual chili cook-off, and later we'll have live music, a jelly bean guessing, jelly bean guessing contest. Oh, you like the, like the game? The little spin-the-wheel game with the, the disgusting jelly beans? Uh, <laughs> I forget what they're called. Bum, uh, bean Boozled, that's what they're called. Um, a raffle, and as well as food, drink, and a bon- b- 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 bonfire. Let's kick off spring. Uh, let's kick spring off tonight, right? Yeah, I can read. Um, yeah, you found a quilt you made a few years ago. Thought you lost it. It was a rainbow quilt. Very cool. Very cool. It's always fun finding stuff you you thought you lost or you misplaced or you forgot you put away. Always fun and exciting. Woohoo! Finally, chili, beer, and jelly beans. The ingredients for another great festival. <laughs> Uh, Silver Dragon will officially be returning to our normal operating hours. I think we know that already. Just dropped a block of alabaster on purpose because if, I wouldn't stop digging. If only I could find lost socks. Yeah, socks are a weird thing, huh? Somehow lose them all the time. And you never find them somehow either. <laughs> no matter where you look, you just end up buying more socks. Heard some kind of commotion coming from this fo- silver dragon when I was walking to the festival. Everything okay? Yep, all good. Just dropped the big block of alabaster. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, in the workshop. Thanks again for checking. Pete Nowak. Hi. Does anyone know how long to play a game? Oh, we were at that. Did you try checking the washer and dryer? Yes. <laughs> They're not in there. <laughs> Usually, I think usually like socks tend to maybe fall off when you're like carrying it back to your room or something. Uh, or sometimes like when I take my socks off, they don't immediately go into like the the dirty bin. Sometimes I just take them off and, and toss them somewhere. And I also have a dog. There's a good chance she takes them somewhere. <laughs> so... Okay, let's check our text messages. Steph and Ryan are our uh, group chat. Uh, let's try to try to figure out. Okay, they're hiding something. Holy shit, Steph and I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Meet us there when you're ready. Okay, Ethan. Uh. Enjoy the Spring Festival. Wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on the next Thanor comic. Nice, Ethan. Sweet. What's happening next in the issue? No spoilers, but Thanor finds a gate to the underworld and fights the King of Demons. <laughs> That's a spoiler. Oh, snap. That actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. <laughs> cool. So not a whole lot. Um... We do have a couple of new pages in the journal that I don't think I've read yet. So, Ethan Joy. I guess I'm used to feeling like the whole world changes when I take on someone's emotions. But what Ethan's Joy did to Haven, the way it lassoed the entire town and dragged it into his fantasy, I never experienced anything like that before. I actually felt... I actually felt Alex dissolve, slow off, and... Uh, underneath was just Alwyn. It felt good to try it on a different history, to remember a different life in a different world. But when the sirens came and Haven snapped back into focus, I don't think Fantasy Alex could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her. He needed me. Monster or mortal, the forest notices skyward. Sky sword of power, a horrible creature stalked the street. Exactly the heroes I need. We can pry jewels from the claws on your behalf, or we can wear a mask and stalk the streets. Are we monster? Are we mortal? Whichever you need us to be. And then Charlotte, her anger that came out. Um, 
some anger blisters like old film stock stuck in a projector. It eats you up like from the inside, melts away everything else until all you are is a brittle shell and a boiling mass of blame and guilt. Uh, make some art. It's supposed to help, right? But it doesn't. Just fills your shop with reminders of what a shitty person you are. Uh, don't know how I knew I could do it. It was just suddenly noticing an extra limb somehow invisible until the very moment I thought to use it. Uh, I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down, and turn it off. I don't think she turned it off, though. I think she transferred it. Um, so that might be false. Uh, teach me to need someone again. That's what she said about Gabe. I can't look at you. It's supposed to protect us. When did I become such a fucking monster? God, it hurt so bad for a minute. I wanted to burn down the whole world. Um, sit down in the street and let the flames peel me away layer by layer. Instead, I swallowed it. I had to. Charlotte suddenly just felt fine, or maybe not fine, but safe at least. For now, I keep telling myself it was the right thing to do, the only option I had, but then I remember her eyes, the way they looked at me, but didn't really see me. I'm carving you out of stone. Finally learned how to need someone. Cracked your coffin, penny for your thoughts on the fucking monster I've become. Poor Charlotte. Yeah, so we took Charlotte's anger, right? Um, and that anger kind of came out at a different time. So I'm curious if Charlotte's still okay. Like what? And the reason why I decided to take her anger was because she mentioned wanting to die, right? And I felt like when you hear somebody say something like that out loud to you, and you decide to do nothing, it you're pretty much killing them. Um, so I, I felt like I needed to do something and 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 try something uh, at the cost of making somebody else upset, which which did happen. Uh, and now I'm just a little concerned of what her mindset is now that I've taken something away from her, such as anger. So I guess we'll see. Well, hopefully we can find her in the festival. Okay, so let's look around the house, see if there's any new dialogues uh, to listen to. One day I'll organize this stuff in here. Today is not that day. That's what you think. I'm opening this chest. A robot. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? Ornament? Yeah. This one ornament will really bring my tree together. String ah, lights. String lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. Haha. <laughs> For now. Re reminds me of USB uh stick. of Max from the first Life of Strange. Pressed Rose. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Maybe Charlotte gave it to him. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. Look at that. I'm There's people nervous. outside. Having a festival. Having a ball. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. <laughs> Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. Yeah, booze makes it fall asleep, especially if you're doing it alone. <laughs> it's very tempting to curl up with this all night. It's funny that my apartment. It's funny that this game references or has a video game reference to like a, a Dark Soulsy type game, because this is what this is. Uh, the the sort of dust and daylight. Um, they made a lot of references to this game, I think, in the last sh uh, chapter. And it's funny that I'm playing this now, and they're like, "Oh wow, this game's so fun!" Blah blah blah. And in IRL right now, people, everybody's playing uh, Elden Ring, <laughs> so I'm like feeling like an extra amount of FOMO uh, when it comes to Elden Ring. It's like I feel like I should get that game next after I beat Life is Strange. Granted, I've never beaten any Souls game before, and I feel like it's the same thing's gonna happen to me if I buy it. <laughs> you want me to do it? You want me? You want me to feel pain? But it just looks fun. Everybody's playing it, and I'm, I'm just feeling like uh, I want to play it too. I wanna, I wanna be a part of the experience. So maybe, maybe I will pick it up. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I get paid this week, so. 
Chinese takeout. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. So I was watching other people play this game, right? And someone that made the comment of about Chinese takeout where they think it's weird that people eat directly out of the ch the like this Chinese carton takeout container thing. They, they think that's weird. They think you should take it out and put it on a plate and eat it. I disagree. <laughs> I've always she, she thought it was like a like a movie thing. Like she said, she's never seen anyone do it in IRL or whatever, but I do it in IRL. Like I eat, why would I make more dirty dishes for myself? I can just eat through this and then throw it away. I don't know. What's your guys' take on it? I I just eat it in the to-go containers. If you can eat it out of the carton, then you know it's good. That's what my mom said. Yeah, exactly. If you take it out, then you're probably trying to make it taste better, right? Because you got to, like, put more seasonings on it. It's like, oh, it's lacking hot sauce or uh, or soy sauce or seasonings. Like, my mom, when she buys something, like, she'll buy, like, some, like, cooked meats or whatever. And if it's not up to her standard, she'll, like, redo it. <laughs> the seasonings on it. Pants. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. <laughs> That's me every day when I see dirty clothes. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. Well, no one's. Well, if you're not going to fix it yourself yet, tell somebody. Son Man, of lead. The latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Unmasked, unleash, unstoppable. It looks like uh, Star Lord. Ita. I've been playing more these past few weeks than the last few years. Feels nice. I've got a lot riding on you. Small, inanimate object. I'm about ready to start my own list. <clears throat> right, this was his checklist, the things he wanted to do. New bong for Kevin. Uh, apologize to Zoe. I don't know who Zoe is. I don't know who Ira is. Um, but I think one of them was something about dad, too. Forgive dad. He was trying to contact our dad, but has no luck since. I have a feeling that's going to come into play at some point. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the USB stick, put it in our pocket. Okay, time to head downstairs. Eleanor. Um... Alex, I'm so sorry about before. I really did appreciate your help. It just hit me hard. Don't apologize. It's been hard on all of us. Are you joining us for the, this evening, dear? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. Ah, we'll make it as painless as possible. Yeah, festival. Shoo shoo. Will you be my date to the festival, shoo shoo? All right, let's uh, see what outfits we got before we head out. Oh, we got this all black and white with uh, some graphic of a girl. I think it says siren in the hair. Uh, we got hot dog man, chibi, chibi hot dog man. She looks like a waitress though with this <laughs> outfit right here. Uh, we got a, a tiger. Uh, some lipstick, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of any of these. I think I'm gonna go just because I like hot dog man and it's like a chibi hot dog. We're gonna go with hot dog, even though she looks like a waitress, like a diner waitress. We'll go with that. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better and we have lots of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra s'mores. S'mores, but with ice cream on top. Ooh. Secret family recipe. I don't think I've ever had s'mores with ice cream. That sounds like a grand idea. Uh, the LARP was amazing. You are a really good bard, and I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. Banshees. Thanks again, Alex. Ethan. Sweet. Well, I'm glad he's feeling better. 
He had time to write me a note and everything. That's awesome. Oh, we got mine hunt again. Here's my bard Holding hat. The bard will ride again. All right, we gotta we gotta play this at least once per episode. So let's see if I can get further. I don't even think I've made it to the top ten yet. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, I want to climb back up if I can. We got to get that left top left side cleared. Got this. Get this. Can I go? Okay, we're going to go this way. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, what a jump. I just realized I missed a tiny coin at the very top there. Maybe I can get it and kill all the ghosts while I'm at it. All right, perfect. That's the best first map run I've ever done. All right, this one is really easy if you're quick because it takes a while for the ghosts to spawn. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Come on. Up. Alright, let's get that battery before that ghost gets up here and we are set. They got nothing on me. When I got my headlamp on. Hell yeah. Alright, this one's tricky because of the cart. I gotta remember about the cart. The cart can kill ya. Ooh. Oh, I forgot the job. <laughs> no, fall damage. <laughs> All right, we're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Uh, okay. Let's grab this battery. I'm glad that didn't kill me. All right. All right, the next next map's really hard too. Let's do it. You have to climb on the left side first before you actually do anything. And the ghosts start to really spawn, and if you get trapped on the left side, it's really not ideal. And I don't know how to get that left jump. I think I have to... Ugh! No! 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 Ah! Suh. Got two lives left. Ah, oh, this sucks. Ah, oh, this sucks. Don't go down. Ah, oh, you suck. Go. Go. No. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Maybe they don't respawn if I kill them all. Please don't respawn. Uh. Yes! Alright, I have n No! Fall damn it! <laughs> no! Okay, we well, at least got to the next level. Shit! Alright. What's that? Alright, ghosty. Which way are you going? Uh. 
<laughs> Still not in the top 10. Whatever. This game sucks. <laughs> I think I got everything in the house. Uh, maybe I should check for... Um, I should check for emotions, actually. I don't think I looked around for emotions. Uh, oh, I just noticed we have a rice cooker. Very nice. Much needed. I need my rice. Oh, here. I almost missed this. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... Cute. I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. <laughs> I've never received flowers from a girl either. Receive socks though. <laughs> On the topic of socks, I did receive socks. So snowboarding. I haven't gone snowboarding in a long Am time. I supposed to use it. I got hurt pretty bad the last time I went, because the snow wasn't actually snow; it was ice, and uh, I fell. It didn't 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 feel good. I think I'm hoping that's the only thing that I had to look for in there in terms of like emotional damage. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. You know, I've never been to Colorado, but playing this game makes me want to go to Colorado. I don't know if I could live here. I need a place with good internet, so I don't I don't know if I could live in a place like this. But I would love to visit and see the sights. Oh, hell yeah. Music. Test, test. Check, check. One, two, three. Check. Holy shit. You own a skirt? <laughs> hey, guys. Rude. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment? Something really messed me up. It's Charlotte's anger. It was it was Charlotte. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte... It's the same old story. I lose control, and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Yeah, you need to apologize too, because you said met, you had my back. For me. And then when you're the one struggling... I bailed. Exactly. You said you had my back. I was so hurt when cool. you left. I'm really sorry. I accept your apology, Steph. I owe you a trophy. I guess we're both sorry. No, I owe her a trophy, though. I did break something very valuable to her. It's totally fine. But I still owe you a new trophy. Let's play for it. Not to spoil the moment, but Typhon blew up their own mine. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. You know the little I hot dog chibi type. reminds me of Invader Zim. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over. For the hot end. dog episode. It's I don't know what the episode's called, but there's a hot dog episode. I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Hell yeah, I'll be. Uh, who's... Do you need help? Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. 
God, why are they both so cool and cute? And, I wanted to give away a rose. Uh, I have to play this game a second time. Definitely be on my list. Or I can just watch somebody else play. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Yeah, we'll enjoy the festival for a bit. Drum kit. This is Steph's maybe. Oh, Izzy. Izzy was her friend. This show rules. It's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. That's Steph. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um merch. <laughs> uh merch. Please count me in. I'm dying. Cool, cool, cool. So it is uh Steph's old band that's come to play, it seems. Which is nice, because I thought they had a falling out. I thought Izzy was upset that Steph left, or rather Steph stayed and didn't continue with the band stuff, but it seems like they were okay. Uh-oh, I got a message from Diane. Oof. Ah, where'd she get my number? Ooh. Okay. Two-faced bitch. Oh, shit. Hi, Alex. Wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work through it this year, but I really appreciate our conversation earlier today. It was great getting to know you better. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> oh, wait, there was more my block stuff, too. Happy Spring Festival, Haven Springs community. Thank you, or thanks for letting us celebrate it with you. Poster has disabled this replies. Oh, there are the roses right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ryan, can I talk to Ryan for a bit? Ryan's always been there for me. Should I give a rose to him? Ah! <clears throat> May I, I, I'd want to. I'd love to give a rose to both Ryan and Steph, but we're going to be good and just do one of them. <laughs> Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Love is in the air. Cute. Oh, there's food over here. Steph is jamming out. Steph is just awesome. Maybe I could give a rose to her. Hold up. I won't speak to either of them yet. Oh, what is this? The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty darn so, awesome. Where's the after party this year? After party? Come on. Young man like yourself, you must know what the haps is. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. My goodness, what is this town coming to? Used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. Eleanor! <laughs> it's been pretty wild back in your day. My day? I'm talking about last year. <laughs> There's no graceful way to sample everything on this table. Is there? That's a... Big piece of watermelon. <laughs> Holy shit. Could you imagine someone just going to town on that thing? I would be. Any time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. Most people would be embarrassed going to town on like a slice like that. Holy shit. Eleanor must be relieved that the festival is finally here. All right. God. I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh no. What happened to Riley? What happened to Riley? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Uh, lots of work, huh? The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. Drinking later? So, we doing shots tonight or what? 
Of course. Body shots. <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Or am I? Can I give a rose to Eleanor? <laughs> wow. Where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. I better get going. Can we dig deeper? Enjoy your night. You too. Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Oh. Went to the bus stop alone. I wonder why. Is she planning on leaving without telling anybody? With Riley leaving tonight, no wonder Eleanor is so sad. The Black oh, Lantern. Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. Har har. Soda. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. <laughs> Super tiny. So, listen to anything good lately? Yeah, but nothing new. I've had the new paint thinner coffee single on repeat for like a month. Oh God, it's so good. How do they do it? Honestly, blood magic. It's gotta be. Paint thinner coffee. I wonder if that's an actual band. I'm gonna look it up later. I know they mentioned it before. Oh no! Valkyrie, what have they done? Oh, hi Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? What's it say? The Black Beast of P. Oddly's Traveling Circus. Audley's traveling circus and its crown jewel, the Black Beast, toured the United States in the 1930s and early 1940s before P. Audley's ultimately demise here in Haven Springs, Colorado. This ill-fated performance lingered in Haven's history for a decade, uh, or for decades after the whispers of the Beast remain even today. The crown jewel of Audley's traveling circus was known as the Black Beast, likely a melanistic color variant of Panthera on. Uh, witness accounts, however, defy the traditional uh, understanding of the species given to the unusually large size and unnatural longevity. The Black Beast was scheduled to appear at a show in Haven Springs on July 27th, 1944. That night, an incident uh, during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. Nowadays, hikers, hunters, and adventurers at heart still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountainsides of Haven Springs presented by the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society interesting so that's this cat here and you're cosplaying as that cat understood this is awesome favorite time of the year by far that kind of enthusiasm is infectious Especially for me. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious. Especially for me. All right, let's uh, sit down and do our Zen moment. What do you got to say, hey, Alex? So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. I get it. I would love to go to something like this. Mm-hmm. 
So I've managed to uh, able to avoid DMCA on Twitch. Uh, YouTube definitely catches it, but it's just like uh, more of a like copyright claim, and I won't be able to like play ads or you know make music off the video, which is fine. Any music I make on YouTube is not going to be that much anyway. Hey, Jed. It happened last year. Yep. I remember it clear as day. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Spring Fest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. But anyway, he comes racing out of the diner, bowled over a couple of tables along the way. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack, belly flop. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So I jump in there after him. Ooh. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land and we called him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine though. So then, I gotta spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none, but everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Chocolates! <laughs> God knows why he thought that was the right token of gratitude. But, in all fairness, I ate the whole damn box. Best I ever had. I uh, didn't say who, who the hell that was. Maybe it's. I don't want to think it's Gabe. I feel like Gabe would know how to swim, but. It's been a hell of a month, but this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. It's nice to see Jed so in his out. Excuse me. Two thirty-two. Two thirty-three. Two thirty-four. <laughs> He's counting the jelly beans. That's like what? No, the red one was two thirty-four. Wait. Wow, this is a beautiful model. I bet you there's a whole another story if we were to go to that church. There's another. There's another game somewhere in this town <laughs> relating to that church. I Tub don't of beer. Think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Jelly bean lady. She looks awfully smug for a jelly bean lady. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? <laughs> you can go right after this determined young man. Is this the guy that we helped find his dog? Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. And you only get one Chris guess. I've been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Oh, that's nice. She's really embarrassing saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? No, but I can read people's minds. Oh, sh there's definitely more than 300. It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Yeah, we should. She's expecting. Oh. 
This game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? It's hmm. because... Maybe I can help him somehow. It's because you love your dog and I respect it. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. What should I say? Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? What does R1 do? I don't know what that does. I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell so yes. Your secret's mine. 731. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Get shit on! <laughs> so much for your help. <laughs> no sweat. She's gonna keep that hundred to herself and it sounds like she does it every year, so... In your face! Give that dog treats. I'm Can sure I grab? Around the festival. Okay, Maybe I thought. I, I thought. Uh, I thought. <laughs> I thought I could grab two. Two flowers. Uh, I got another message. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight, but I haven't seen her around. Where is she? I think she's planning on just leaving. Just wanted to take a second to say how wonderful Haven really is, and I say, this always remind me of how lucky I am to call this place home. No other place will ever come close. You're not bad yourself. Beef flowers. Looks like we're getting down to our last basket of roses. If you haven't gotten one for your special someone yet, now is your chance. Love this tradition. It always brings out the best in the people you love. She loved it. Thank you again, Eleanor. They look good. The Jelly Bean Guessing Contest has ended. Congratulations to Hector. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. Oh, crap, I thought I was going until midnight. Normally, yes, but we had a perfect guess. No way, someone actually won this time? Yeah, I'm surprised it's been, what, four years? I think five. Five years she's been hanging on to those $100 gift cards for herself. Huh? Oh, I couldn't talk to Jed. It's said to talk to Jed, but I can't talk to Jed. Um, Time to sync up with Ryan before the show. I feel like I should try to go find Riley if it lets me. Let's uh, let's sprint over in a different direction, and see where it takes me. Oh, is this Mac? Haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off than before. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So... What now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. If he goes on about his job, you. but but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. Yeah. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of saw that. You can do better, okay, but be careful. Uh, if only I knew what they're hiding. Like, I don't know how bad it is, right? I mean, they, they're hiding what they actually did, you know, with in regards to Gabe's death and whatnot. So, I don't know. I understand that they need money, right? And well, what else are you going to do in a small town like this? I'm just going to say, okay, be careful. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just... Keep your guard up, okay? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. 
Yo. <laughs> no wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Oh, there's the Mac I know. Jesus Christ. I should. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. Well, there's a lot of people who are living in this small town just for the job at the mine, Zimius. So I think that's the issue. Like if the whole mining thing goes down, uh, people are a lot of people are going to be jobless. Uh, regardless, I think. Ryan, everything set me at the stage. Um, it is live music time. Uh, Kind Haven listeners, start to make your way over to stage. Okay. Sounds like Take Ryan it easy, is ready dude. for me. I better head back. Too. Empty keg. Man. Haven really parties at this festival, huh? How far can I run around? Eesh. This thing has seen a few spring festivals. Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, "Oh, is Anne here, his wife?" In front of God and everyone, <clears throat> that Annette Teresa Foster is. Oh, is this when he just proposed? The most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. Good for you, you had Jed. To go and make a scene, didn't you? Good for you, Jed. Oh, is this, this is the couple. This is the couple. The two, I think these two back here, they're the couple that actually like each other, but they're, both of them are, uh, well, one of them is afraid to accept it because she doesn't want to lose a friend, and the other guy thinks that she just doesn't like him. I think this is them. Let's find out. Oh, I can't hear them talk. Maybe I missed it. I can listen to her thoughts, though. Crap. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? If this is a date, it's a really silent one. Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Aw. Look at the hang of this one day. Or not. Okay, so they're, they're still at a... They're still stuck. <laughs> Uh huh, uh huh. Anything else? Oh. Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people. <laughs> what could go wrong? Everything. Okay, I know they're ready for me, but good luck with that sign. No alcohol beyond this point. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. Oh, so I can go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. Is that it? It's just Typhon is really sketchy, sus. No. I told you we all had to sign NDAs, right? I was thinking about that a bit more and... Hmm, NDAs. Do you think you could talk to Uncle Rick? See if that sounds above board to him? No, Mom, don't do that. Just call him tomorrow. I'm sure it's fine. Typhon is not normal. I made a oh, mistake yeah, coming here. Festival. Get out while you can, dude. Not normal. Yeah, what nice. are they hiding? There was that outdoor theater thing. 
What are they hiding? Couldn't have said it better myself. Fuck Typhon. Ice cream. The ice cream people. What are you so happy about? Been a while since I seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That dragon shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought. My bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please continue your conversation. What are you so happy about? Uh, I gotta start over. I seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That dragon shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it. As soon as you thought of it. I can't stop thinking about it. Could we do a castle shaped cake box? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What if we did little swords instead of serving knives? Oh my god. We could do a LARP. Like ourselves. As a promotion. Ooh, what if we called our loyalty program experience points? Okay, stick with me for a minute. Full fantasy rebrand. Forget the avalanche thing. Dragons hoard ice cream. I fucking love you. Right fucking back at you. <laughs> nice. They're coming up with ideas to help improve their uh, ice cream shop. Good for them. We are ice cream geniuses. We run this shit. God, she is. <laughs> she, she keep flexing. She is so confident. You go, girl. I can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench, just to be safe. Oh. Uh, okay, so there's the campfire. Let's. She said there are still people in town, so let's just roam around town. I think we might run into Riley. Um, another Typhon flyer Neighbors. here. Come on. Yeah. Nobody by the dock. I haven't seen Ducky at all either. Ducky hasn't been around. He said tonight would have been a long night for him. Um, I think he might be coping with being alone. I think he used to have a group of friends that lived here with him, and he's pretty much like the last one that's around. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Uh, nothing here. This is the guy that just bought this Grand diner. Opening tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow already? Did he use soup and salad for spring festival attendees? Tomorrow? Just come introduce yourself. I'm glad someone's opening the diner again. I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right. Alex Chen. Alex Chen. Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid. So stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town. I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. <laughs> you know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh. Well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. You're welcome, dude. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. Nice. May the best small town diner <clears throat> win. I felt this re grand opening happened really fast. I'm not sure what the time frame is for everything, but jeez. Uh, can I actually go back into the, the Black Lantern? Yeah. I bet you I'm gonna find Ducky in here drinking his sorrows away. Just a thought. Or it takes me all the way upstairs. Let's see. Mm. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I should head outside. Yeah, we will. Don't worry. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Fancy bourbon. Jed bought this as a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. 
Cooper M. McConaughey. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I'm not much of a whiskey person. I think the only time I drink whiskey is with a Coke. I don't drink much liquor on their own. Well played, kitchen staff. Plain burger, cut me some slack. Spring festival tonight. <laughs> Odds are pretty good. I'm grabbing a cup later tonight. Can I? I can use the jukebox, but should I? Mandatory night off. I'll take it. The Black Lantern will be closed on Saturday, May 25th, starting at 3 p.m. for the annual Spring Festival. Service will resume Monday, May 27th. Thank you for your understanding. Uh -huh. I feel like... I really feel like Ducky's going to be around this corner. What about acute emotional kleptomania? Dr. Lathrop's... Tonic, excellent treatment for snake bites, ticks and fleas, wounds, mental disorders, blebs. <clears throat> Sen senility and ablutophobia. Ablutophobia? Ablutophobia? What's that? Ooh, I have my phone with me. I can learn. Let's learn. Uh, Ab, Luth, O, Obia, <laughs> okay, it's the fear, it's, <laughs> it's the <laughs> a, f a fear of bathing, <laughs> oof, okay, I didn't realize that was a, f I guess there's a fear for everything, right? I didn't realize that's what that was, though. <clears throat> Flower arrangements. Eleanor is like a mafia boss. Except instead of crime, she spreads flowers. Yep. Called it. There's Ducky. I saw him in the corner. Hopefully he's okay. I'm going to go talk to him in a second. Looks like a fun night. I want to buy a Polaroid. I I got a free one, but it's a little damaged. So there's a weird like, it, like a it almost looks like a pixel, <laughs> a, a dead pixel in the picture. Uh, I just want to buy a new one. Another they can be expensive, but hey, Ducky. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was. Yeah, well, he's Never thinking about his wife. Tabitha. Sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. I wonder who Tabitha is. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. There's gotta be more I can do for Ducky. All right, let's help out Ducky. to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My oh, he even sounds younger. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Tabs. He played pool a lot. There's nothing at the pool table, though. Uh, what else? What else? What else? More around the bar, maybe? Out here. This table. Wait! 
Just wait. Don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you? The ring. Uh, oh, Ducky. It's beautiful. Tabitha Baker. Will you marry me? And we know he has a daughter that he doesn't have a, a good relationship with. And grandchildren too. I actually missed that in my playthrough, but I, I found out in somebody else's playthrough. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky. You're going to outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Play that song, maybe? <clears> hmm. <throat> It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. I won't mention her name. Wooden Bear Spring Festival. Would you like to dance? Give me one sec. How did you? They're playing your song. Let's dance. This is nice. I'm not tearing up, you're tearing up. You know what reminds me most of her right now? <clears throat> it's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. That was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. That was weird. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. That's good, Ducky. You're very I'm glad. Welcome. Enjoy the festival. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I should head outside. Nope. I mean, I will head outside, but there's more things I want to do before we go do the do. Ah, that was a nice moment. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> ah, excuse me.
we're gonna scout through the whole town before we start the, 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 the music stuff we need to find Riley too we haven't found Riley yet and Charlotte and I, I want to check up on Charlotte um, and I think that's and Pike we haven't found Pike I don't know when we're gonna supposed to find Pike but I'm sure he's part of the main story and he'll just appear when the time's right <laughs> Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I better head back. That's what you think. Hey, it's the bald guy. It's it's the uh the angry bald guy. Are you serious right now? Oh no. A fucking boot on my car? Oh. Okay. So I can't park where I normally park because we have to celebrate a bunch of fucking flowers. Hey. <laughs> Fuck you! You think you're making the world a better place? Think you're doing a service for the citizens? You're just a goddamn tool for the man! You're a cog in the machine, you metal fuck! I'm not a part of your system! <laughs> I throw it on the ground. That's what it reminded me. <laughs> oh, that sucks, dude. Unlock doors with my emotions. I'm so sorry that you had to deal with this. Whoa, dude. He has anger issues. All right, are we ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. I control me. One, two. Fuck! I don't control shit. Oof, sorry, man. We've all been there. Yeah, sorry, dude. Uh, hopefully your days get better soon. It seems like every time I talk to you, you're having a shitty time. Uh, good luck out there. Hopefully that gets resolved peacefully. Uh, I really want to visit a town like this in Colorado. I think Lots it's based of off. Still hanging out on Main Street tonight. It's based. It's loosely based off of like a few towns, I think. Um, in Colorado. I just need to look it up. Day drinkers? <laughs> the LARP was a lot of fun. Oh, these yeah, are the, like, this is the couple. Is it? Wait. Do you think there's food left at the festival? This is, oh, it's a different couple. Are you hungry? I thought you might be. I could be. But are you? Not really, but that's nice of you. Right. Cool. Oh. God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dork. This is the couple what I was I thinking do? of. Wait. They're both into each other? Come on, people. Yeah, we know this already, Alex. It's just... Haven't spoken to Charlotte since leaving here earlier. Hope she's okay. Oko. Is that how I pronounce your name? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Irashaimasen. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Um, everything is closed, I believe. Thanks and yep, cool. Oh, Oko. I'm trying to remember that. Even Hopefully you're having a good day. Thank you ass. for the follow and welcome in. Spoiler warning: in case you've never played, uh, Life is Strange. Oh, thank you for the head pats. Appreciate it. Closed. If you need music, come watch me at the festival tonight, Steph. Thank you, thank you. Um, my name's Kaboshi, by the way, if you're wondering how to pronounce my name. I am, uh, uh, you can't see it because I have my hood on, though. Uh, but I have goat horns, so I'm half human, half goat. How's my day night going? Monday night. Or my day's going fine. It's not night yet. Um, it's been good. 
it's been very good. I, I uh, once did some grocery shopping and errand running earlier today. Uh, now I'm playing uh, Life is Strange True Colors, one of my favorite franchises. I'm having a ton of fun with it so far. And uh, and then tonight we're going to have a little, little like small bad Korean barbecue. You. Oh, hello. Good surprise or bad surprise? I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Get out! I'm romancing Melody. The nurse? She's adorable! Oh, these are the gamer nerd, The gamer nerds. I'll be real with you right now. Game is sick. <laughs> I love you. That's a relationship that I'd want to be in. I, I wish I had a gamer uh, significant other. Wait, is someone standing out past the bridge of flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. I think that's uh probably Riley. Um, the game's not gonna let me go anywhere else, right? Yeah, figuring much. Looks pretty dead over there. Yeah. Okay. There's an invisible wall. Right. I should listen to this. Didn't expect that him playing my favorite <clears throat> game would be a turn on, but here we are. Never know it could happen. Love my VTube. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I've. If you want to know who who worked on my model, uh, the details are in uh, my profile down below. She's made. She's a wonderful mama, and she's done. She's created a bunch of siblings of mine, and um, I really highly recommend you go okay. check her out. Ryan is waiting on me. My mama. But Riley's over there, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll take my hood off if you want to see my head. I'm a little shy uh, in terms of showing my, my horns. That's why I have the hood on. But a small little detail um, is that kind of like these flaps that you see on my hood. Those are kind of like supposed to look like uh, goat ears. No worries if you don't want. I, I, I just, I can show you just a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Yeah, you gave me a head pat, so I think, I think, I'm okay with showing it just a little. There. See my horns. They're my horns. Okay, <clears throat> that's it. We're done. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's Hot Dog Man. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, oh, I, I forgot to turn that on. I'm sorry, Zimius. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the object things. Uh, uh, one second. Uh, don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at that. <laughs> My private profile. Uh, 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 one second. <laughs> no, don't look at. Don't look at my secret files and folders. <laughs> I will fix it. One second. Uno momento. This is embarrassing. I'm still here. Don't worry. Time to sync up with Ryan before the show. Yeah, it's gone. You. She's my favorite Genshin character. Mama Coco Goat. Okay. I think I fixed it. Uh, uh, ah. Okay. Here's here's uh, to make up for it not happening earlier. Here he goes, there he is. Uh, <laughs> there. <laughs> Points redeemed. 
E. Ooh, C I T sticker. Hey, that's right. I should congratulate Riley next time I see her. Oh yeah, she got accepted into college. I've never missed a spring festival before. Like, ever. Oh, honey. You'll catch the first few hours. And there will be other spring festivals. Thank you for the head pats. Actually, Nana, I might just wait at the bus stop. Avoid the parade of goodbyes. I'll cover. <clears throat> Aww. Yeah, let's go talk to Riley. It looks like she's getting ready to leave without saying goodbye to everybody because it'd be sad. Game looks amazing so far. It's a really good game. If you've never played any of the Life is Strange games, I really recommend it. Um, you can you can start it anywhere, any game. Um, they're all their own game. Um, the only similarity is that they're all in the same universe, so you might catch like references to other games. So highly recommend it. It's really good. Especially if, if you like choose your own adventure type games with like choices that matter. Yep, Riley's getting ready to leave. Here I am, just waiting at the bus stop. About to change my entire life. I've Looks been like there. her feet are getting eaten by the ground. <laughs> she's sinking. It's quicksand. Oh no! There she is. Looks like she's packed and ready. Hey, Riley. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? Can't tell that woman anything. My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really gonna miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. Yeah, you'll be only be four hours away. I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes oh, I wonder. Oh, I hope I don't have to really tell her. her here alone. I know she's not in the greatest health Eleanor condition. Is her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want. Nah. Oh. What should I do? I feel like I shouldn't. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you love her hot dog shirt. I do too. It was the only good shirt out of the the four options. Um. Okay. So to catch you up. To catch you up, if you don't mind spoilers, um, Eleanor is pretty much uh, her adoptive mother, mother, um, and she's been having dementia. Uh, she's been having like dementia, and um, she's been keeping it away from her, from uh from Riley here so she doesn't know that she's been dealing with dementia she's been keeping it secret I'm the only one who really knows about it um and so <clears throat> it's putting me in a situation where if I should tell her about the, the dementia or not um and the thing is I'm sure Riley would want to know and I feel like that would be the right thing to do um so, like, telling her would probably change Riley's mind about going to college. Wow, if I don't tell her, then she will keep going to college. So, it's like, I know Riley would want to know and she would want to stay and help. Um, but I also would like to respect Eleanor's wishes of not wanting to tell her, you know? So, I'm kind of like in a rock and a hard place. There's always time for college. That's true. She's only 20, I think. Riley's only 20 years old. So... That's true. That's true. I agree with that. I think I am going to tell her. I think that's honestly the, the right thing to do. Um... I agree. 
Riley, I think there's something you should know. It's kind of a long story, but I found out that Eleanor has Alzheimer's. I'm sorry. I know it's a lot to take in. God. I had my suspicions, but... I need to go home and talk to Nana about this. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm sure it wasn't easy to tell me this. It wasn't. Because I know how I know how much stress that she's been dealing with about going to college, too. She's been working really hard on it. So she was finally accepted and, you know. But it seems like I think that's the right move. She's not upset that she can't go to college uh, or anything like that. I think she would prefer to stay and help if she could uh, for someone who raised her, you know? Her Nana is like pretty much her mom, essentially. All right, I think I've, uh, <laughs> now <laughs> I think I've gotten everything uh, around town. Um, so the next big decision is who to choose. I'm, who, I, who am I going to choose to romance? I think I've already decided, but um, yeah. So I have a flower, a rose uh, in my pocket, and I have to choose between two characters, which is Steph or Ryan. And I'm pretty sure I've already decided to go with Steph um, just because she's more of my type of nerd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going with Steph. She's more my type of nerd. I, I had a whole story earlier. I was like, you know, I was like imagining our whole like relationship, how she's like kind of like a D&D &D nerd. Um, oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, it's Deidre. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Welcome in. My name's Kiboshi. It's nice to meet you. Irashai. Uh, but I was like, you know, she's like a D and D LARPing type of nerd, you know, uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff, and uh, I'm more of a video game nerd, and I feel like that's like would be a fun relationship where she's like introducing me to things, and I'm introducing her to things, and maybe we both get into anime someday. Who knows? <laughs> but Ryan's cool too. I really like Ryan. He's a great character. He's more of a, a nature nerd. You know, he likes nature and birds and stuff, and I, he's cool. I like him, but it's, I just think that, uh, Steph is more my alley. You like how roofy, goofy Ryan is? Ryan's a great character. I like them both. It's a hard decision. I'm glad Ducky joined the festivities. Hey, Ducky. How are you feeling? Splendid. Thanks to you. Go have some fun. You've earned it. Thanks, Ducky. I'm glad we had our dance earlier. Um. Hi, hi, it's Deidre. Please let me know how you'd like me to pronounce your name, uh, if I'm saying it okay. wrong. But it's a I pleasure to meet you. Me. All right, all right. Let's go. Give. Look at Steph. She's jamming out, and there's no more music playing. <laughs> uh, sp I hope speaking doesn't end the thing. Hey, Steph. <laughs> she can't hear me. <laughs> There's no more music playing, so it's kind of awkward. <laughs> I've been taking too long. All right, let's give her the rose. We're going to do it. Oh, romance is in the air. This is for you. Cute! Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude. Thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey. Could we meet up after the show tonight? Yeah, yeah. I actually have some pretty big news to share. Yeah, yeah. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there. 
Sure. She wants to get it on. I think she just wants to make it official. I, we've been flirting the past two episodes. She's been giving me those looks. And I've been giving those words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for another head pat. Appreciate it. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Steph's Yours old bandmates. Truly. Hey. Seriously? That's awesome. Well, wait. Who else? Oh God, it's me, isn't it? It's me, isn't it? Steph. It's me, isn't it? No, don't make me go on stage. Who else is playing? <laughs> the, the realization. Oh. You know. We didn't want you to voice out. <laughs> that, <laughs> that transition was amazing. <laughs> uh... It said as Deirdre. Okay, Deirdre. Deirdre. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Deirdre. It's Deirdre. Got it. I wouldn't wuss out. I would totally wuss out. If this was me, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Being on stage. It's my worst nightmare. Oh my god. I, I would totally wuss out. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's <laughs> wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. Oh no. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Am I singing too? Am I the vocalist? Um. Ah. We've never played together before. And <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry, right, if this sucks. Stop. No one's even listening. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, hey! I feel like I know this song. I feel like I know the song. I've heard it before. I don't know what it's called. Hey, 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 hey. Does sound amazing. It's really good. Look at, look at that. They're looking at each other. Those two lovebirds. Nice. Ooh. That was awesome. She got into it. Good for her. Is it coming? Oh, oh, Charlotte. We need to go talk to Charlotte. We really, we, we need to go talk to Charlotte if we can. Officially, she's okay. I'm concerned. Hey, Maxie, thank you for the like. Enjoy your movie, dude. Hey. Have a good one. Charlotte. How deep do you think? No. The lake, I mean. No. We don't need to find out. I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But 
now? It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better? <clears throat> I don't I don't under I don't I don't quite understand what she's saying. Uh what does she mean? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm just gonna apologize. Um Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. I'm concerned. I, I almost feel like... So, just to catch up people up if they didn't know what happened. Uh, Charlotte was feeling really angry about stuff. Um, to the point where she mentioned wanting to die. And so, with my powers, I took her anger away. Uh, to to hopefully help with that situation. And now it just feels like she feels nothing. At least that's what it sounds like to me. Um, and I don't know what's better. <laughs> I feel like I made it worse. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. I hope she's okay. Uh, let's read some of this stuff. Oh, 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 this is, <laughs> this is the restaurant guy. Uh, he made a post. Attention, Haven Springs. Happy Spring Festival, and thank you for welcoming me into your community. To celebrate our forthcoming grand reopening, the Brown Bear Diner is offering free soup and salad to Haven Springs residents who comment below. Let me get in on that. Nice, I'm in, me. I would like to have free soup and free salad. What a good idea. Yo, hey, me. Looks like a successful promotion, Jack. Whenever you decide to swing by the lantern, drinks are on me. Well, thank you, Jed. That's very kind. And Jack is <laughs> Jack was never heard from again. Knock it off with that malarkey. I'm being perfectly pleasant. And I was never heard from again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh I gave him that uh idea to to start a post on my block for the coupon stuff. Okay. I gotta admit. This is a pretty great feeling. That rocked. That was some else stuff. Alex, bravo. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks, guys. We've had a blast. Totally starstruck. Cool. All right, we're, like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. We're caught up. I'm concerned about Charlotte. And I'm going to go uh, confess my feelings to Steph on the roof. But should I walk around one more time to make sure there's nothing new? I, know, I don't want to miss anything. So let's, uh, let's just have a quick run through the festival grounds and then we'll go up to the Back roof. To the party. But I should get to the rooftop eventually. Yeah, we don't want to keep her waiting. You enjoying the party, Ducky? Absolutely. With a performance like that, how could I not? <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. you. Know, I'm no stranger to the mandolin if you're ever looking for backup. A mandolin. <laughs> Typhon is not normal. Okay, same I thoughts. Stay coming here. Same thoughts. What do you got to say, Jed? That was one hell of a performance. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Music lover? Hi there. Oh my god. Uh, hi. Oh. Can I have your autograph? Of course you can have my autograph. I'm serious. I'm kind of a big oh, deal right uh, here. Sure. Find you later, all right? Awesome. Th thank you so much. I'm kind of a big deal right here. 
Uh, empty roses. All the roses are gone. Love is in the air tonight. I don't want to be late for this surprise. Oh. Time to head up to the rooftop. Oh, can we do apple bobbing? I want to do Doing apple bobbing. Takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Actually, apple bobbing is kind of gross if you think about COVID now, huh? <laughs> how many, how many mouths, how many uh, teeth have touched this specific apple and they couldn't get to it? <laughs> uh, I guess that's everybody. I'm really concerned about Charlotte, though. I, I'm just going to run to the... you have anything nice to say about my singing? Okay, no. Okay, cool. I wouldn't want to hear it anyway. Okay, so... There's oh, the, this young these two guys. Elvish countryside. The couple. To find her missing sister, who was abducted I missed these guys over here. Guild of Warlocks. Warlocks. Go on. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries. The kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal. Undead priest. Oh. They find the sister. The sister is now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom oh. with her magical shit. And they gotta take her out. Right? I, I don't know. But what a dilemma. Fucking Shakespeare meets Tolkien. <laughs> this is what I always should have been writing. Desi, this is amazing. It hey, they're like having the fun. Finally back. They're having fun writing. I didn't need a muse. Just needed to get out of my own head long enough to remember who I am. Good for you, dude. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds cool. Like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Nice. I I, I just I just want to check out her place one more time, uh, just to make sure she's okay if she's there. I'm just this really concerned. Pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. This is probably There's a waste of time. A crowd milling around tonight. It's like it's closed still. Okay. All right, well, I guess we'll go see Steph, guys. There's Let's, still a decent crowd milling around tonight. In, indeed there is, Alex. Indeed there is. This is a fun night. Going up to the rooftop of the Black Lantern. Wow, we've already been playing for two hours. Does not feel like two hours. Feel like maybe one one hour. <laughs> this game really eats up time, especially when you're thorough. I try to be as thorough as I can. All right, upstairs. <clears throat> oh, can I clean this? I can't. Ugh. Not tonight. Wait a second. That half a burger? Who doesn't take half a burger home if you don't finish it? That's half a burger! <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> Must have been not a good burger, but I work here, so I stand by our burgers. Our burgers are freaking delicious. How dare they? The nerve of some people. Just the nerve. Here we go. Gonna make it a night to remember. I hope. I hope I don't screw this up. <laughs> He's happy. Uh, Big smiles. You said you have some news? I'm leaving. Huh? I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. I'm happy. I <laughs> 
That was not what I was expecting. I'm a little upset. Uh, I don't want her to leave. Uh, uh, I'm, I mean, we're not dating yet, so I'm just going to be, I'm happy for her. You know, she seems excited and I don't want to ruin it. Holy shit, Steph. That's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. Why'd she take me with her? I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Are we Pick deciding? Oh, 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 What? Berlin? Salem. The ocean. Middle of the ocean. What? Where are we going in the ocean? Eh? I like the ocean, but Berlin? We're not going to Salem. We're not going to Salem. <laughs> that sounds depressing. Uh. Uh. Berlin. I'm I'm stuck between Berlin and ocean. I like ocean, but Berlin's like Europe. I've only been to a few places in Europe. I've been to Italy, France, um, Barcelona. And it was fun. I'd love to go visit more places soon. Um, but I really do like the ocean. I just don't understand what ocean means, you know? Like, are we just gonna... We're gonna be like a band on a cruise or something? You know, we just play music on the cruise the whole time and we visit a bunch of places? Like that's that's what my thought is when I think of the ocean, um, which is fine by me. I like I've been on cruises too, and cruises are fun. I don't know if I could do it for a lifetime though. You think ocean? Hmm. I'm thinking ocean too. Berlin's really up there though, but I'm I'm more curious what ocean means. So I'm gonna choose ocean just because I'm curious what that means. Nice pick. All right. Tell me about my life in the middle of the sea. Cruise ship. Sea lab? No, I was thinking cruise ship. That was in my mind. It goes to some weird sea lab. Cruise ship. Congratulations on your new gig. Playing drums in a cruise ship band. I can make that work. I'll mix mm -hmm. up the dad rock and show tunes with one bikini kill cover per set. <laughs> Nudge some yuppies toward better taste. <sighs> You could even throw in some originals. Before you know it, you've got the world's first cruise core band. Cruise core. Cruise core band. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To the ocean? <laughs> sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Seattle! There or... I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. There's a lot of people in Seattle we know. Haven. No, well, not Haven. Uh, what is it? I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder... If you've thought about what you need. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. She said it. You mean the fucking world to me. Tippy toes. Oh, the hug. Oh, the joy, pure joy aura. Woo! 
Wow, that went far. Wow. Poor Ryan. <laughs> anything now okay <laughs> just think about it also this is one of the few games where I've noticed each character has unique teeth usually it's just one model for teeth used on every character but I'm gonna head back down gives a lot of character to each character when their anyway. teeth are a little different bye Steph wonderful night I'll see you later bye bye boo Oh god, that was cringe. Kill me. Start dancing! <laughs> For some reason, I could see Steph and Ryan getting together. Yeah, but Steph is, uh, has only shown interest to women. So, I don't think it would ever work out. But they, they can, they're just really good friends. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? She is by. I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? No, she's 100% by. It was uh, stated and made it pretty threats? obvious in the first game, Steph. Terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that but I think I can figure it out I just wish you were here to see it <laughs> now, Steph is 100% bi oh, um, and Alex so you get to choose if she's straight or bi Steph, so that happened Because there's a there's a moment in episode two where Steph asks you, "Hey, what kind uh, are you in a girls?" and you get the choice of saying guy or girl or both. So, all right. Now all the serious stuff is about to uh, come into this game. I'm downloading that game. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. It's really fun. A lot of different outcomes. I recommend playing the uh, the first game though. I I even though you can play in any order you want, I recommend playing it in order of the release Alex. date. You have the USB drive. I do. It's I don't really trust Gabe's Pike call, though because he has a crush on Diane. Plan, the cover up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex. Don't make this hard. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, Pike. 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 Was bought out by Diane, maybe? I don't know. He had a crush on Diane. This could be bad. Uh, the first game is just Life is Strange. There's nothing after it. Um, and then there's a prequel called Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, so I would play those two first. And then there's Life is Strange 2. Um, and then Life is Strange Captain Spirit. And then this that one. This is the newest one. Your first spring festival, huh? Life is Strange True Colors is the newest one. Coffee? Uh, I'm good. I'm all right. Thanks, so. Good. Cuz we're uh actually out. You know, don't jo don't joke about coffee, all right? Don't offer coffee if you don't have coffee. That's that would make me Thanks. upset if I actually wanted Why coffee. <laughs> Coffee's important. Coffee's a delicacy. 
The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. I mean, we did steal, but we also found evidence from it. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. Life is Strange episode one through five. Yeah, it's five. Ep each uh, each Life of Strange game is five episodes long. So yes, that is the first one. So I would play that one first, and then uh, after that, Life is Strange before the storm. So there's a there's a kind of theme in each Life is Strange game. Like each character has their own kind of like superpower. So really highly recommend it. Uh, if you stream, I'd I'd come over and watch it. <laughs> I don't know if you stream or not. But I totally, I'm, I love Life is Strange, so it's great. Uh, so he says he can't look at it. Why not? You need to. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. You might put on YouTube. I see. I did what I could, but you know. Is your name on YouTube player. the same as what it is here on Twitch? Sorry, I'll look you up. In order from who? Got it. I will look you up, and if you end up playing it, I will do my best to catch it. <laughs> order from who? The order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. <clears throat> Sounds Fuck. sus, Pike. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. I'm not going to say fuck Diane because I know he has a crush on her and so he might get defensive and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to say no way. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Because I know the truth. If you agree to drop everything, ah. Typhon won't press any charges. Ah. Laughable. Why the deal? Doesn't this mean she's guilty? She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. 
and all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Come on, Pike. I know you're a good man. Do it f for the goodness of your heart and not for the heart of love. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Ah! <laughs> Alex, yeah. please, just sign the form and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. Oh, his hair fell over. So that's what my hair does on a, on a windy day. <laughs> what are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Mm. Pike's really shaken. Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, they're going to kill me, damn it. Oh, are they going to kill me? What? What's going on? A deal. Just like they offered Charlotte. Fuck Let's me. read it, shall we? <sighs> Typhon, Typhon Mining Company release and waiver agreement. Typhon Mining Company, hereby referred to as the releaser, agrees to drop all charges against Alexandra Chen, hereby referred to as the releasee. Charges to be dropped, one federal count uh, computer fraud under USC 1030A2C, one state count theft under CRS 184401. Uh, in exchange for the releasee, must cease and cease all efforts to defame, surveil, Surveil or otherwise harm the release or signature of release C and witness and blah blah blah. Not doing it. Let's take a look at this envelope. Okay. Typhon Mining Security, subject Chen Alexandra. Brother Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhon. Uh, mining blast. Intel shows subject has a high level of determination and um, efficacy to and oh, oh and uh, negative effect what affectation has persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. Um, H and B. Oh, they've been investigating me too. Private Investigation Services, Alexander Chen, Threat Assessment, 5-1 to 525. Uh, 5 5-1, began following subject after meeting with Mac Loudon. Subject met with a man identified as Ryan Lucan. A little else of note, subject spent three hours in her apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into type and history and legal, uh, what's that say? Litigation records. Uh, subject met and spoke with client in the Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from client. <clears throat> Typhon. Ah, 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 no, I pressed it wrong. What did you expect? I wasn't uh, done reading. Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers and... Who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I thought I could get justice. I thought I could get justice. I don't know. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. Ah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Nice <laughs> Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. 
I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with uh, me? I want to read the thing again if I can, please. I really didn't. No! Oh, this is a hard decision. Sign the affidavit or risk taking Pike's fear. I don't want to put more people in danger. I don't even know if taking Charlotte's anger was the right idea. So taking his fear might get him, put him in danger because he isn't afraid to do whatever it takes anymore. Um, it might put Steph in danger, but might put Ryan in danger and myself in danger. But I feel like signing the affidavit means doesn't mean it's the end of the game, right? We still have a whole another episode to go through. Um, I am gonna sign the affidavit for the considering the safety of my friends and myself, and because I don't have enough information on what taking somebody's emotions away means, like. If I take away his fear, does that mean he's just unafraid of everything forever, you know? Or is it just this one particular situation? I don't, and I think that's dangerous to play with, and I shouldn't be doing that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. I'm gonna sign it. All I have to do is sign. <clears throat> Max marks the spot. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. He would totally kill himself doing something reckless. Right. Like, I don't know what taking his fear away means. Is it just for this particular situation we're in right now? Or am I taking his emotion of fear away for good? Um... Because that's what it feels like. That's what happened with Charlotte, and I don't want to do that. Uh, I wanna, I wanna read. Ah, I'm so frustrated that I accidentally hit escape twice when reading the the stuff in the folder. Um, Fuck me. I wish I could look at it again. I'm so sorry, Gabe. All right, let's uh. Oh, uh, well. I hate that they're making me do all the steps on my own. Ah. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I can do? <laughs> There's nothing else I can do. Can I text? <laughs> Send help. <laughs> All right. Fuck me. All right. Thank you, Alex. You did the right thing. Please don't end here. Hope that's not the end of the chapter. Please. Please don't make that the end of the chapter. Please. 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 We're only two and a half hours in. No, this is episode four. We got one more after this. Oh, that didn't feel good. That didn't feel great. Alex, come see me when you get a chance, Jed. 
Uh oh, Jed has something. I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? I have no idea what to do next. Let's go talk to Jed. Maybe, maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Maybe Jed has his own suspicions. First, I need to get out of this dress. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I hate her current outfit. The shirt's cute, but I, I don't like the rest of it. Um, oh, it's popping. All right, back. Well go talk to Jed now. Back in our, our, our sweater, but oh, uh, we can't choose a different sweater. Look better than I feel. Dang it! Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. Yeah, looks like we got some new things to look at. Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine, dig up some answers myself. I mean, I down. I'll be down for that. I think I'm all played out for tonight. Okay, we're just gonna look at everything. Oh yeah, I had a ton of phone messages, right? Um, Ducky. I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He turned out to be a great spring fest after all. Really good to see you out there this year, Duck. It's certainly a time for new beginnings. That's the spirit, Ducky. Uh, Haven Springs. What a festival, Haven. We ate, drank, and made merry. We tasted chili. Uh, we rocked out to some music and enjoyed a lovely spring night in our beautiful town. Thanks for another great year. Great festival. And thanks to our business partners and everyone who put in so much work to making this festival possible. Our pleasure. The smiles and laughter make it all worth it. Best part of the year. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. Sadly, the spring festival is over, but the fun continues at Avalanche Ice Cream. Share your favorite memory from the festival in the comments and get one scoop on us. I like I liked when Josh burned his mouth on the chili. I didn't. <laughs> Uh, better get a free scoop on that burn stat. Uh, the music, hands down. We love the set, too. One free scoop. I finally grew a pair and told a very special girl how special she is, and the scariest part wasn't telling her. It was realizing how numb I was waiting this long. Damn, I think you deserve two scoops for that one. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything new. We'll just go ahead and just look yep. at everything. The tables seem to have turned. All right. Looks like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Stefan any deeper. Riley probably can't help me hack Typhon. Yeah, probably not. Ducky. Hope he's doing okay. We got a zen moment on the couch, which I'll do in a bit. This isn't over, Gabe. I promise. Yeah. All we did was sign a piece of paper. We can tear it to shreds. It's cool. It's fine. We'll figure something out. Um, oh, postcards. I guess the night wasn't all bad. Ah, from Steph. Got it. Uh, can't look at shoe shoe. Can I go upstairs? No. I won't play the game again. I feel oh. a bit better. I guess I can go see the boss man now. Feels like the LARP was a hundred years ago. Okay. Let's sit on the couch for a second, and then we'll go see Jed. Let's see, let's see what Alex is thinking. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? I kind of had an idea. Buried secrets, evil mining corporations. Death threats. We came close, though. Closer than Typhon thought we would. Closer than I thought I would. This can't be the end. All right. All right, let's go talk to Jed, everybody. <sighs> <clears throat> mm. 
-hmm. Any spoilers for the first game? Uh, what do you mean? Any spoilers for the first game in this game? No, they are two completely different stories. There is a, uh, a character from the first game that shows up in this game, but that's there about she it. There is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. <laughs> I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Oh, well, well, fuck it. Rally the whole town and take down this. They, they can't murder a whole town, right? <laughs> I'm going to take a shot first. Uh, Bunny Boo Brick. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the show. Uh, it's nice to meet you. My name's Kaboshi. How are you doing? Uh, spoilers for Life is Strange, by the way, if you haven't played before. Uh, just FYI, in case um, we are deep into the game at this point. But it is a pleasure. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Let's take a shot before we get into the, the heavy, deep stuff. Ooh, shake it off. Just shake it off. All right. Typhon killed Gabe. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. Had proof. I don't think we have it anymore. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed some secret they buried I don't know what it is I don't even know what to do next but I'm not giving up not ever justice I know what they're hiding Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention this. So I, th I had a thought back then um, because Jed, uh, he was a hero of a mind collapse that happened a few years ago. Uh, I don't remember how long ago it was. But he saved 19 people, 19 miners. He was a miner himself um, from an explosion um, that happened, I think. Or I don't remember if it was an explosion or not, but it was a collapse. And he had rescued 19 people. Um, and I feel like he there's some stuff that we might not know that Jed's been keeping to himself uh, because he was a part of this whole situation. Um, and so... I was thinking he might know what's going on with Typhon um, and he didn't want to talk about it because there's another scene where Steph was telling me um, stuff about what Jet did and he got a little uh, annoyed or, or you know he's like you, you know people probably don't want to hear that right now he doesn't want to talk about it stuff like that so you knew I'm not going to go you knew but I'm going to be more like what what is it you knew Please, sounds a little Jed. bit aggressive. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. 
Oh, he's been doing it for longer. Maybe the, his wife buried in the mountains. His wife, maybe. Tell me. I don't. I don't know how his wife died. I'll do one better. I'll take you. I'll show you. Oh shit! Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Bunny Brook. Bunny Boo Brook. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. I don't know what clicks means. Jed, you gotta tell me what clicks means. What is this thing? Oh god, this shaft. music They're reminds me of the first Life is Strange game. Over the years, mine it's making me anxious. Mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. Labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Okay. Why are you sad? Jet? I'm sorry, kid. Jed? tried to talk you out of it scare you off i was sure those pictures of ryan and steph would do the trick pictures of but you were relentless won't leave damn well enough alone you don't have to do this i do 12 years ago i made a mistake the kind of thing that you you can't undo But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. That's the end of the, the episode, isn't it? Fuck! What? Obviously not dead. <laughs> we got one more episode, but I liked Jed. What did he do? It's got to be related to his wife and Ryan's mother. Something happened, and he. I. I feel like Typhon also had him sign some affidavit, and now he's. But shit. Damn. I also want to point out I'm in the minority of the people who signed the affidavit. <laughs> oh, man. 73% removed Pike's fear. 73. I wonder if that was the better thing to do. I don't know. I'd have to play this again and see what happens if I do that instead. But um, Alex, 64% gave it to Steph, the Rose. That's crazy. Wow, 5% didn't do anything. Those people just don't want romance, I guess. I understand. Whatever. Actually, I don't understand. I'd want romance. <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe they didn't know about it. Who knows? Some people speed run through this game. I've watched a lot of playthroughs, and some people just don't care about like listening to, to all the you know thoughts of Alex and stuff and all the things you can interact with. They just want to like do the story, and they don't do any of the stuff. And if they do them, you know, I'm not going to judge, but it's it, it's a little frustrating to watch sometimes when people are just like ignoring what's like pretty much 80 percent of the game is going through, you know, her thoughts and all the things you can interact with. But 
Um, 69% had a nice moment by the bonfire. Nice. <clears throat> uh, Alex took a minute to reflect before going talking to Jed. Wow. See? See, that's what I mean. I <laughs> Only 27% of people actually sat down on the couch and, and reflected. The 73% probably didn't even know that was there, uh, in my opinion. Oh, here's the... Let's see. 31% of people didn't meet Steph on the rooftop? The heck? The heck? Steph and Alex mused uh, to Berlin. 24... Wow, it's split. I'm in the minority of choosing the ocean. Interesting. 24%. I uh, want to go to Berlin and Salem. Interesting. I would have never guessed. Uh, Steph and Alex shared a kiss. 64%. 4% just hugged. And then 32% didn't even go meet her. Um, Ryan and Alex mused. Uh, obviously, I didn't meet Ryan, uh, Ryan on the rooftop because I chose Steph. But huh. Seems like more people chose Ryan. Over stuff. Um, Charlotte felt weirdly detached at the festival. Fifty percent. Wow, a fifty-fifty split between the Charlotte thing. Interesting. Alex and Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment in the festival. I guess that's if I didn't take her anger away. Um, forty-nine percent didn't find Riley. See, forty-nine people. Forty-nine percent of people didn't even go to look for Riley. That's frustrating to me, and I can't. <laughs> there are playthroughs where people probably didn't even find her, and it's that's so frustrating to me. Like, there's so much to this game that people just miss. I feel like, um, what is it, Mia? I'm almost done. My puppy's getting a little antsy because I've been sitting here for three hours almost. I'm almost done, baby girl. Give me a second. Um, sixteen percent revealed. 15% had already, uh, Riley had already decided not to go to school 15% and then 20% uh, Riley went to college Alex helped with the jelly bean thing 76% uh, Alex helped the diner buyer with his blog post uh, 45% um, and Alex didn't admit oh, did I screw that up I didn't realize you could do that ah shit the two, the two friends who really like each other but won't admit that they like each other. I didn't realize I could help them. Uh, I totally would have. I missed it. Oh, bummer. All right. Okay. Well. I guess that's it, guys. Um, obviously, something was going to happen at the end of this episode. <laughs> Their romance was never realized. I know. I'm a failure. I let them down. I was rooting for them, too, and I let them down. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the end of this episode. Uh, thank you for the head pats, uh, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Um, Elko and uh, Deidre and Bunny Boo Brooke, thank you guys for the follow today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I might finish this chapter off tomorrow. We'll see. It depends on how my day goes tomorrow. But I will probably start streaming around the same time if I do. Uh, so yeah. Yep, this is the end of the stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I don't think I'll be raiding anybody today. Uh, so I am just going to end the stream because... Uh, I'm kind of like streaming this, but also kind of half recording it to uh, upload on YouTube. So I think it's, it would be strange to like do a raid <laughs> for for that uh, reason. Um, so thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I appreciate meeting all the new faces today. Uh, and hopefully you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Stay safe. And I will see you guys possibly tomorrow. Have a good night or day. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.